lot of useful information from him. See what you can get when you go to different places? We're in between Ormond Beach and Flagler Beach. We had to find a space where there's not a lot of people so we can fish, because we're gonna pull out the, uh, uh, the drone boat or the bait boat, and we're gonna give it a shot, try to fish for, try to catch some shark. Don't know if we will, but we're gonna give it a shot. So stay tuned, getting everything ready. Right now I'm trying to get my rig set up. I'm not using this one. I don't really like the hook. It's a circle hook. Um, but I don't really like the way, or the struggle I, I get when I uh, uh, try to put the bait on. So I'm gonna use a different hook and try to get this set up and going. So I gotta change the rig and then I'll get it up. So stay tuned. Right now I gotta put my antenna on and my buoy on. So I'm putting the buoy on. I don't really need it, but I need to cover everything up. <laughs> Make sure this guy's tight. And my GPS antenna, putting that on right now. I'm gonna make sure everything's tight. I put this in a plastic bag. <laughs> Cause like I said, last time I got it wet and the battery is corroded a little bit. So I had to clean it all up. This is not waterproof or, of course, salt waterproof. So I just made a little bag and put it on there to keep it from getting water all over it. I got Bonita right here. I got these guys too. These guys seem to work pretty good. I mean, I didn't catch anything, but I got a lot of bites off of them. So I brought them, I'll use them on the other poles for the big pole, which I'm gonna take out now. Um, I'm gonna put the bonita on. I'll probably cut it in half and, and throw it out there. Hopefully they're still okay, <laughs> but we'll see. It's kind of frozen right now. There we go. Nice head. Let's go put it on. And this is the part I struggle with. I don't actually, I don't call myself a perfectionist of putting the bait on because it doesn't seem to work a whole lot for me. So I try to hook it through and kind of sew it, if you will. There we go. And then I'll hook it back through and it's frozen too. So even though it feels like it's okay, I mean, once it thaws out a little bit, maybe it won't be. Well, I don't know if that's good, to be honest. Well, I'll give it a shot. If there's a better way to do this, let me know, because I've been trying different things, and hopefully this will do something, but we'll see. All right, so now, I gotta hook this up to my boat. I hook it up. There we go. Hopefully everything works right. Now I gotta turn it on and get GPS lock and then we should be ready to go. There we go. Got locked. Where's my line? Yeah. Fish on. Little shark. It's a black tip. And we got a little black tip shark. So it's pretty nice. Little black tip here. Happy about that. It is shark. You want to see? Come here. Huh? Yeah. Oh, black tip. 
It was your intention to, to finish this one? <laughs> yeah, so black tips are nice to eat, actually. You can touch it. You want to touch it? It, it, it looks like that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to clean it off real quick, though. Now I need to take it out. Can you give me some pliers up there? Come on. There we go. <laughs> uh huh. We're gonna let him go because he's a little bit small. Oh, I got a little black tip. That's great. But I haven't got anything off the, the big pole yet, so I'm gonna check it. It did actually get take a hit. Don't know what it was. Maybe the bait's there, maybe it's not. And I'm gonna go check it. It feels good to finally get something again. You never know. I've been having some bad luck lately, and at least I got something tonight. So I'm happy about that. Ah, I lost my big weight, that's why. All right, I brought it in, no bait. I lost my weight too, so I gotta fix the line and I'm gonna take it back out. better this time. It's a bluefish. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> nice. Nice. Nice bluefish. Once I got the bluefish off the, the line, I had a hit on my other pole. So I had to go grab that one real quick. With the bluefish in my hand, I didn't have time to put it in the bucket. And uh, so it was still in my hand. I was trying to reel the other fish in. Another black tip, but it was too small, I had to let him go. So we had a blue or a shark, but it broke the line, took the line, just regular lead. Well, I shouldn't say a regular lead, a 40 pound lead, still it broke the line. So we lost it. So we had a good time surf fishing tonight, a better time. The last couple times, I, I'm not lucky at all. We got two black tip. Um, a nice blue. We lost like four. Uh, one or a couple of were because of uh, mono leads, and a couple of the other ones were because I, I don't know. Uh, I just lost them. And uh, and one time I'm still getting used to my conventional reel. Not used to them yet. So sometimes when I cast, I don't know why, but the line will stick, and then it'll snap my uh, uh, my lead off with my uh, weight and everything like that. And other times it won't do that, so I don't know why. Uh, if you have any tips why it's doing that, uh, it could be the way I'm casting, I'm not sure. But uh, still trying to get used to it. I like it, it's just uh, not used to it yet. Other times when it works perfect, it's great. So we had a great time. Until next time, watch more of our videos. Good night.